morning, happy travelers. We spent the last few days in Cinque Terre and it has been incredible, but today we are leaving, heading back to the train and heading to a really awesome resort in Tuscany. Little pro tip though, if you come to Cinque Terre, avoid bringing giant bags like this. It is very difficult to get this bag up and down the streets. We've been traveling for four weeks and this has both of our stuff in it. Couldn't really be avoided this time. But if you're planning a trip here, don't bring this big of a bag. All right, we're really sad to be leaving Cinque Terre. It definitely was not enough time. If you come here, stay at least three nights, if not more, in case you have a day of bad weather like we did. But now we've got a train journey to go to beautiful Tuscany, so I guess it's not that bad. One train down. How many to go? Two, three? Two, three. Taxi? I don't know. It's going to be a long day. We've taken several trains into Tuscany and it's been really scenic. It was so pretty. Mountains and rolling hills and just greenery and it's nice and warm here. Uh, in case you can't tell, I like it. <laughs> After a couple hours of very beautiful scenery through Tuscany on the train, we've arrived at the Renaissance Tuscany Il Choco Resort and Spa. And we checked in and our room is so nice. I'm so happy to be here for a couple nights. Come on and I'll show you around. We're staying in room 512, which is the top of the resort and it's got a fantastic view. We've got this little foyer area here and a nice huge walk-in closet, as Kevin likes to call it, the luggage room, <laughs> with robes, which of course I will be wearing later. And then out of the hallway is the room, which I think might be bigger than our apartment at home. Hmm. Huge king-size bed, perfect. It looks so comfy, I can't wait to sleep in that later. Nice TV, nice sitting area. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> a fireplace, which is awesome. Another area to sit, table and chairs. They've given us some little welcome treats, which is awesome. Can't wait to eat those. Coffee and tea area, of course, with bottle openers and things for later. I think if you sit on this couch, you have a fantastic view, but the best view is actually from outside. Tuscany is a stunner, guys. If you are ever considering coming to Tuscany, I highly recommend it so far. It's so gorgeous. And this view just pretty much says it all. We're overlooking a fantastic valley with terracotta roofs as far as the eye can see. The only thing that would make this moment better is if I had a glass of wine in my hand. This'll do. Thank you so much, Renaissance Tuscany. I almost forgot the bathroom. So here's our bathroom. There's a bidet, of course. Europeans really like really small showers, like the tiniest showers you could ever use. So I'm really happy to have a little bit of room in this bathtub. I'm probably going to use that and soak. There's also these little Tokyo milk toiletries. I think we're going to be very comfortable for the next couple of days and I'm really excited to spend this time in Tuscany. Yay! We decided to walk around the resort, do a little exploring. This place is really beautiful. It's very empty. There's not many people here right now, which is kind of expected. The whole resort is just covered in all these vines with beautiful flowers everywhere. It's really, really nice. We have come out to this lovely terrace right outside the restaurant right here. Everything is closed because it's about three o'clock. A lot of the restaurants don't stay open all day long. They kind of close in between meals, but they were nice enough to get us some drinks and we have a little charcuterie board coming and it's not too bad. I think it's going to be a relaxing couple days. Things are definitely pretty sleepy in Italy. We're just just seeing it wake up a little bit because they only announced that Americans could come in about a week ago and other tourists as well. So 
for catching it right when there's hardly anyone here, which is fantastic. It's nice and quiet, and I think the next couple days are gonna be very relaxing for us before we go to cities like Florence and Venice. We're thinking like, I don't know, Lunchables <laughs> or something, but they brought out quite a spread, like enough for four people at least. So they got prosciutto and buffalo mozzarella and some bread with some olive oil on it. And I Have I mentioned I'm happy to be in Italy? <laughs> once or twice. It's been quite a nice relaxing afternoon here. We had that charcuterie board earlier. It was so much food <laughs> and it had prosciutto on it which obviously is an Italian staple but what you may not realize is that the best prosciutto actually comes from Parma, this area that we're in. So what we had earlier was probably the best prosciutto I've ever had. It wasn't like chewy or stringy or anything like that and we were planning on getting dinner tonight but honestly it's almost 8 30 and we've had so much to eat that i think we might skip dinner tonight the light is so gorgeous it is just lighting up this valley it's glowing so we might take a few photos and then turn in early because we have a full day tomorrow we thought we were gonna skip dinner but it turned out that it looked really good so <laughs> We ordered a plate of pasta and a local soup that's got peas and artichokes and asparagus. It sounded amazing. So I think we're gonna eat this and then immediately fall asleep afterwards. <laughs> Today we're taking a little day trip to the Tuscan town of Lucca. I really don't know anything about this town, so I'm kind of excited to not have any expectations, but I hear that it's awesome, and we're gonna go visit the Grand Universe Hotel over there, which is the sister property of the Renaissance that we're staying in. After about a 40 minute drive, we've made it to the town of Lucca. Lucca is a pre-Roman city that's most famous for its Renaissance style walls that surround the old city center. The Grand Universe Hotel has lent us some bicycles for a couple hours. That's the way we're gonna explore the city. Any attempts at not looking like a tourist are not gonna work because they literally gave us a pop-up map. <laughs> Woo! Don't they know that I'm called the awkward tourist? Bicycling is not my strong suit. <laughs> We made it about 100 feet before we stopped at a cafe to get a couple pastries and more coffee. My Italian is not good enough to know really what I ordered. I think I ordered a couple of Napolitan pastries, but I'm not sure. We found our way on top of the wall and there's this fantastic like walking and biking path and the trees are all green and everything. It's almost like summer. Not as warm as summer, but it's nice. And there are like parks off to the side with playgrounds and stuff. It's really nice. It's still a city, but it's not too crowded, so we're not having any trouble on the bikes or with traffic. It's awesome. So after biking around on top of the wall, we decided to come into the old city and we made it to Luca Amphitheatro, which used to be an old Roman amphitheater. So we're standing where the gladiator battles would have taken place, I guess. Now it's just a really cool oval, oval square, I guess. <laughs> they still call this a square, but it's an oval shape. It's surrounded now by houses. There used to be about 10,000 seats here. And even the houses that replace the seats in the amphitheater were built in the Middle Ages. So it's just layers of history, which is really awesome. That was super fun riding bikes around Luca. I didn't know that we would make it here, and I honestly didn't know it existed, but it's a super cool small town, uh, small city, I guess. Um, just about an hour, hour and a half train ride outside of Florence, so if you need ideas for a Florence day trip or you've been to Florence and want to explore the area more, highly recommend Luca. The Grand Universe Hotel is very nice. We've been given a tour of the different types of rooms and the rooftop lounge and the bars and things, and now we're about to have lunch. And it's been such a lovely day so far. We're having a really good time. So now we're out at the pool and it's
it's like 6.30. <laughs> so it's a little late for pool time, but the light's really nice, so it's gonna be good for some photos. And it's nice and quiet out here, so it's gonna be relaxing. white wine myself and I've been getting local Tuscan wines. They're a little bit more, I would say, acidic than the Pinot Grigios that I usually drink and are a little more tart and dry. I'm a fan of dry wines. And I, that's pretty much all I know about wines. <laughs> the extent of my knowledge. And it's, it's tasty, I know that. <laughs> After an amazing dinner and a fantastic day, we are both very exhausted. So I think we're gonna head up to the room, call it a night, and we will see you tomorrow. Good morning. This is our last morning here at the Renaissance Tuscany and I'm really sad because this room is really awesome, but we're moving on to Florence today. But not before we go get breakfast here at the Renaissance. We didn't get to do that yesterday. Pretty much all of our breakfasts have been on the move uh, since we got to Italy, so we've gotten to eat like one croissant and have a cappuccino So I'm hoping that this breakfast is a little bit more substantial. We are in desperate need of some coffee Do you need coffee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See you get to help A breakfast buffet but they kind of serve you so you just tell them what you want it seems to be our experience so far at these uh, breakfasts and we got some bacon and eggs croissants your normal breakfast stuff looks pretty good so I'm excited to dig in oh my gosh I'm so full they just kept giving us food. <laughs> they didn't really understand, like, no, just one croissant. It's like two croissants and eight pieces of bacon and four cups of coffee, so I'm very full. We have to pack up our room now because we're going to check out of the Renaissance and wave goodbye to this part of Tuscany, but we're going to another part of Tuscany, Florence. We're super excited about that. So we're gonna sign off this vlog and start another video for our Florence adventures. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss Florence and Venice. And hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and we'll see you soon. This is Kelly from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. It's the Italian vibe that I think uh, is perfect for here. I don't know, it sounds stupid. Um. <laughs> <laughs> can I eat it now? Yeah, you can eat it now. I can eat it now? Yeah. <laughs>